G'day, this is Peter, back with another episode of The Property Club, and today we're looking at condominiums for sale in Clark Pampanga. So this is a region that has been very popular, and I've had many, many requests on Clark Pampanga. Clark Pampanga, don't get confused with the, uh, it, well, there, there's several different cities. There's the new Clark City, there is CGC, Clark Global City, and, and Clark Pampanga. So what we're looking at today is just Clark Pampanga, um, the new Clark Green City. And this is the wonderful thing about Clark Pampanga. Um, just the amount of development is insane that's going on there. But what I really love about this okay is that it's kind of like a really nice balance between nature and cityscape so it's known as you know Clark Pampanga the green city and I've grabbed this image okay this is Sun Valley Clark Pampanga and you can see the beautiful rolling hills the greenery it, it's just so beautiful and so lush it, it's such a wonderful area it's clean it's safe um, you know, got lots of private security roaming around Clark Pampanga. You got the gates. I think it's a wonderful area just in general, and hence why it's just been so very, very popular. And prices have been zooming along over the last few years. I mean, look at that view. Literally, you live amongst that. If you're buying a new condominium in Sun Valley, you might have that view. You might actually see exactly that. And outside there, they have the water park, they've got the golf course, you've got Mimosa Golf Course, you've got Sun Valley Golf Course. Actually, there's several golf courses to choose from, so if golf is your game, honestly, Clark Pampanga is like a paradise for you. As well as the Aqua Park, I think there's now like four casinos, like you've got the Hyatt building being built, you've got the Marriott that's already built, you've got the Hilton Casino that has just been built, uh, Hilton is also um, a resort hotel and casino so look it's just like a playground a Disneyland for adults you could say it is a great area and I'm extremely fond of it so today that's the introduction we're going to look at condominiums for sale in Clark Pampanga and I'm looking at from lowest to most expensive as per usual let's get started Boom! Yep, today we're doing the Philippines Property Marathon for today and tomorrow. I'm just going to be banging out the videos non-stop. I'm going to be glued to my desk doing the property research and showing these videos. So stay tuned this weekend. Okay, so let's have a look at this first one. This is the new, and I believe this is by Phil Invest, is the developer. It's the new Gulf Ridge Private Estate, and it's overlooking Mimosa. Mimosa is beautiful. Now you can actually secure a purchase in the Mimosa. The cheapest deposit is a hundred thousand peso. That's not the price. That's just a deposit to secure a unit today. I just wanted to show you that. Now you're going to have to stay tuned for more information on Golf Ridge. At the very end I will show you some further examples and the prices of Golf Ridge. So stay tuned. So let's have a look at the first listing, which is Monterrace Lake. So that image that I showed you originally, this is where it's located. Monterrace Lake, some of the condos there actually do overlook the lake and the beautiful rolling mountains and the you know canopy jungle there. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a triple canopy jungle like Subic Bay, uh, but it is very lush and green. So you can see here, and you can go to newclarkcitycondo.com forward stroke Monterey's Dash Lake and you can get the details of this particular development. The 40 square meter apartments which are you know pretty sizable, you know 40 square meters is not bad, start from roughly 3 million peso for a brand new condominium located just footsteps from the Hilton, okay? Hilton Hotel and Casino. And this is one I want to show you. So I want to just show you this a little bit because you know the development is just so nice. Like I said, it's like a playground for adults and a lot of it has already been sold off. But you can see, you know, the Hilton Hotel there, number A, you've got another international brand there. I believe that's going to be the Hyatt. I believe it's going to be the Hyatt and the Hilton overlooking the lake. And on this left-hand side, 
um, number J, that's actually the condominiums. So that's where the condominiums, the Monterey's condominiums that we're talking about today will be located and obviously the lake. So I have been there. Um, I did actually try and buy one of these condos, but I had a problem. I won't go into detail, but ultimately I'd secured a unit and you know I, I thought they'd wait 24 hours because verbally they said that unit is yours. I came back the very next day to pay a deposit and they said the unit was gone, but you can get a lower floor at a higher price. And I was infuriated by that and that's the reason I did not buy. Um, look, there's private villas, there's a water park, there's all sorts being built in this location. It is a wonderful location there in Clark Pampanga. That's the overview and that's what it looks like today. Okay, and completion date. So this is what it looks like today, today. Okay, now let's move along. Here's actually one listing. It is a resale for three million. Now in the current environment, and I'm glad I probably didn't buy from the developer direct because there, there it is, there's a resale and I might be able to get it for, you know, maybe 2.7. I don't think there's gonna be much in negotiation for these condos. They are high in demand, even with COVID-19, just because the location is so nice. So look, it has been a de you know developed a bit more from there. The only thing I didn't like about this development, great that they have lots of parking and check that out. But I mean, you know, they could have made like that parking like half the size and just made it like high rise undercover parking. So a lot of the area is made up of parking, which I did not like. I mean, the parking looks almost bigger than the lake, which I wasn't really fond of, and you can see that there in the picture. So anyway, moving along, that's the unit, 40 square meters for 3 million, and it does have a decent sized balcony. So you can see the balcony there. Actually, it's a good sized balcony. Not all of the units have balconies, by the way, in the different uh, you know buildings here. Um, some of them do not have balconies. So, you know, preferably, I would like one with it with a balcony. Pardon me there. Moving along, moving along. The next one, 3.22. Again, this is Monterey. I think this is Monterey Suites. Yes, it is. Monterey Suites. You can see then again, 40 square meters, and it does have pictures here. It says this is a sample finished unit. This is what it will look like finished. And that's the building. But funnily enough, where's the balcony? What happened there? <laughs> Perhaps this is the other side that faces the car park and the other side of the building has, has the balconies. Not sure because the floor plan definitely does show the balconies there. And you've seen a lot of that already. So on the right hand side that's Hilton and then you've got the Monterey Suites just there. I like the fact that it's very very close by to the Hilton. I'm a little bit confused because the pictures do not show balconies. I don't know, maybe something changed with the development. Not quite sure. You'd have to see in person. Anyway, uh, let's keep flicking through and look. This gives you an idea of what you know the new Clark Pampanga looks like. It is really nice. Beautiful area. Gorgeous, gorgeous area. Someone asked me recently, would I rather live in Clark or Angeles? Personally, Clark for me. Okay, so this is actually taken recently. You can see the roads, the new nice tarmac roads, and it's really getting developed very nicely. I just didn't like the oversized car park and a lot of that greenery is, you know, being cut down just because you know this oversized car park I would have rather like a third of the size of parking and for them to make that like three or four levels but hey you know I'm not the developer that was their, their choice at least it's you know wide and open spaces that's the lake some nice photos in here and that that's a really good picture of what it looks like today it really is starting to look like a real city. So for those of you wondering, hey, is Clark development you know, coming along um, or is it just stalled? No, it has not. Check out Sun Valley. It's unreal. Lots of condos, uh, hotels, you know, different um, you know, places being built like you know, you've got the aqua park and golf course, etc. So it's really very exciting, very exciting. 
So the next one, another 143.22. This is one of the original pictures and it shows you like the clubhouse looking over uh, the jungle and the mountains. You know, this, <laughs> interesting. These are the pictures and what it's supposed to look like on completion. But of course, it never does look like uh, what they show in the photos. Moving along. So here's another one. It's a two bedroom. Unfortunately, they do not list the price. Two bedroom on the 15th floor overlooking the lake. I'm pretty sure this is the Monterey Lake. It's a two bedroom in Monterey uh, Lake looking over the lake there. And this is the unit. And again, no balcony. Isn't that strange? It's a bit green, that lake. I wonder if uh, you know that will change in the future. Not not quite sure. Be great if they could put some koi ponds and kind of like Japanese style gardens around it, and you got fish running, um, you know, running around, swimming around, kind of like Laguna. Um, that that would look fantastic. Laguna Santa Rosa is a nice location. Okay, this one is really, really cool. So this says it's a duplex open for foreigners, so foreigners can own it in their own personal name because it's on a condominium title. So it's a little duplex, and this is what it looks like. Doesn't show you much, but that's it from the outside. So a nice little duplex on a condominium title for 4.5 million peso inside Clark Pampanga. That is a bloody bargain for a three bedroom uh, condominium title. I don't think it tells us, no it doesn't tell us the square meterage, but I'd say this would have to be being a three bedroom at least, you know, close to, or you know, maybe just above a hundred square meters, uh, depending on the size of the bedroom. So let's say anywhere between 80 to a hundred square meter, uh, you know, three bedroom duplex, which ain't bad for 4.5 million peso. Very good deal. The next one, and I found this on ClarkFreeportZone.com uh, properties, is Elm House. So you've got this one, Elm House, which is a development there. I believe they launched this in 2019. I don't believe it's built yet. I haven't seen it built. It's got building A, B, and C. This is what it looks like. Different floor plans, two bedroom, three bedroom, etc. And then you've got the prices. My understanding is this development starts from around about five million. Obviously, there are some resales like this one and the developer pricing, you know, 101, 201, and the resale 401, and they're asking 6.1 million peso. Now, this is a two bedroom, two bath, 105 square meters. So that is literally just a tad under 60,000 peso per square meter, which is really, really good buying. I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick calculation for you. Let's say 6.1 the asking price divided by 105 square meters. It is 58,000 peso per square meter. That is really good buying. That's actually a very reasonable price for the area. These condominiums are a bit bigger. Three bedrooms start from 7.7 .7 million peso. But as you can see, most have sold out and only floor one and floor two are available. Okay, so the next one is a 49 square meter apartment and I think this is, I think they call it Dong Wang. Uh, it's like near the Mimosa Golf Course. I'm pretty sure this condo uh, doesn't say it there, but someone had mentioned it in a previous video. So this is a good price. It is a tad bit more expensive than some of the off the plan stuff like this, which you can get a really good price. Whereas this one, you know, they're asking over a hundred thousand peso per square meter but the location is really really nice near Mimosa. Let's have a look. Let's see if I can expand. And that's the view, a very nice view and a great location. You've got a balcony there. It doesn't show you too much of the balcony, just kind of the view. Maybe in some other pictures here. That's the living space. Not a bad little condo, nice and livable, and a lovely balcony with a great outlook. Alright, that's it, moving along, let's move along.
The next one is this three bedroom condominium. It is huge, absolutely massive. Let's do the math. 6.5 million and this is probably a result of COVID. 6.5 million divided by 203 square meters. This is cheap as chips. Honestly, this almost seems too good to be true. It's 32,000 peso per square meter. Honestly, I'm shaking my head because it does seem a bit too good to be true. Um, you have to do some research on this one to see if it's still available. It does seem a bit kind of dodgy to me. Uh, could be a switch and bait here. Please be careful. Okay, but this is the unit. Let's say it is available. Give them the benefit of the doubt. And it's a nice condominium very sizable 200 square meters and an extremely good price it is literally the best price per square meter that you'll see today but look I am doubtful of this particular listing you need to be careful in Clark Pampanga and Angeles because it, it this area is well known for what's called a sales tactic by the name of switch and bait where they show you something really nice just so you call and then you inquire and they're like oh yeah that's sold but we have one that's you know twice the price so that's kind of annoying so be careful on this one so the next one you're looking at 7 million peso for 91 square meters and again I believe this is Monterey Lakes or Suites let's have a look it's Monterey Suites two bedroom for 7 mil let's have a look at the pictures and again no balcony isn't that funny in the end I think they, they decided maybe not to go with the balconies by the looks yeah, see, even that floor plan shows a balcony, but on the outside of the, the building, I, I can't see any balcony. It's really odd. Kind of looks like an office tower, which is, which is a bit of a shame. Like, you can see here, you know, they've got all balconies, and, you know, when I was looking to buy off the plan, and this is why I don't personally like buying off the plan, because you never quite get what they show you in, in the uh, artistic impression which is kind of annoying that's strange there where they're developing it does look like they have balconies but I could be wrong because that definitely does not look like they have balconies <laughs> sorry the balcony is really getting to me on the Monterey I'm going to have to physically go out there to find out what's happened, uh, what's going on there. Maybe they're not showing us the right side of the building uh, where they feature balconies. Look, and that's why I'm saying that's the risk when you buy off the plan. I usually like to buy resales because after it's been built, then you can go in and see what the condo looks like. Um, that's a bit risky because, well, it's risky either way because you can buy off the plan and it ends up not being good. Um, or you buy off the plan, it could be a really great development and it skyrockets from 50,000 peso to 100,000 peso and you might miss out as well. So it can go both ways. So another one, another two bedroom. I'm just going to flick past this one. This is D Heights, Monterey Suites. So the same development. There are a lot of these listings available in Monterey Suites. Um, perhaps owners aren't real impressed with what they've been given. I'm just making an assumption there, but it, it could have happened. All right, the next one is a two bedroom. Not sure of the building. Okay, yes, it is Dongwang Odi County. So this is again a really nice development, very close to Mimoso. Um, that building does that well that picture does not give it credit. It is a really nice building. And what what someone told me yesterday in the comments section is apparently this building is always you know, at 100% occupancy. So it's hard to get properties in here to rent or to buy. So, you know, it's very popular due to the beautiful location. It's located in between Mimosa and where you have the Clark Parade Grounds. And if you've ever been to Clark Parade Grounds, it's a lovely, lovely area um, to walk, to go jogging or, you know, walk your dog. And they do have a little market there on the weekend. Okay, I believe this is OD County again. It doesn't say, but it is a pretty penny. It's 8.2 million peso, so it's not cheap, but check out that view. Amazing view, beautiful looking condo for 8.2 million peso. Look, I think you can do better, especially now. I think I did see this particular condo listed 
pre-COVID, whereas I'm just trying to find it, like this one I'm pretty certain is in the same condominium development in Odie County, and this was like listed after COVID, and you can see there's a big difference in price there. All right, moving along, let's have a look at this one. It's a three bedroom, three bedroom for 8.4. So what's the price of that? You're looking at 8.4 million peso divided by 113 square meters. You're looking at 74,000 peso per square meters for this Monterey Suites condominium. I'm certain that they do not have balconies, which is a bit sad to see because it's like one giant kind of like hotel room. but at the end of the day for the price I think this is really good value you know considering what the prices are in Manila and you know Subic Bay also which is you know only about 40 minutes drive away um, this is the floor floor plan of the 113 square meter uh, condo but I'm pretty sure it does not feature a balcony based on the photos and the exterior photos of the building So 8.4, I think definitely during this time you can negotiate hard, 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 and you might get a bargain. Okay, so here's, I'm pretty sure, the same listing. I'm going to show you very, very quickly because this had a nice picture, again, of what it looks like in the area. Very clean. It kind of looks like, you know, Manila Bay Area or BGC, um, but just with more greenery, um, you know, the golf course and that sort of thing. So compare it to those areas and Subic Bay. I think Clark is an awesome, awesome area. Singapore School of Clark there, you can see. Okay, so the next one is a different building. It's priced at 9.4 million peso. It's a three bed, three bath, and it is 161 square meters. And this was listed very recently on the uh, 9th of the 7th, so the 9th of July. And let's have a look at the pictures here. It's actually a really fair price per square meter, and it looks like it's fully furnished inside. Must be a resale inside Clark Pampanga. Not quite sure which building this is, but it looks lovely. beautiful condo and you can see there are some real bargains to be had in Clark Pampanga at the moment whereas pre-COVID it was hot 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 trying to grab a bargain was really really hard um, it was really a seller's market and they could ask for whatever they felt like um, it, it, the tables have ch changed though the, the tables have turned I should say it is now definitely a buyer's market so good time to buy now so that actually at 9.4 million let's check out the price per square meter you know, 161 square meters which is a really good size condo they're asking only 58,000 peso per square meter which is bang on you know it's a really good price definitely this is a bargain and well worth checking out little three bedroom three bath on the fifth floor there I'm not quite sure which building it is it doesn't actually tell you the building name but I think it is a great little building and well worth checking out move along let's move along looks like another condo it looks very similar to this one very similar I wonder if it's the same listing let's just flick through it mustn't be because this is 161 square meters whereas this is 141 this one obviously represents good buying because it's a lower price and it has more square meters but let's just have a quick look see if it tells us the where it's located and the building name unfortunately it does not let's have a look at the photos looks like a very similar condominium and perhaps the developer was actually selling these furnished because it looks like the condos are furnished in the same way but this condominium is a little bit smaller it's a smaller cut than the other one nice bathroom there actually look at that very nice very clean and even features a study and that one's 9.8 I'm sorry I'm not quite sure what building this one is you can contact the real estate agent here if you're interested 
Okay, so the next one, and I featured this, it, it says it's not in Clark, but it says it's very near to Clark. Now remember, and I just need to stop for just like 30 seconds and explain this. If you buy in Clark Pampanga, you're buying leasehold. So you're not buying freehold. So it does have a, a time counter. So ultimately, you know, when the developer buys the land, they probably buy it with a 50 year lease. You know, it could take two or three years to develop. So when they turn over the unit to you, you may only have 47, 48 years left. So you do have to check with the local government, the lands department, you know, in, in Clark uh, Pampanga there as to, you know, how many years, you know, remain. Why I wanted to feature this one is, this says it's very near the gate, very close by to the gate, and you actually get a freehold condominium title that does not have a time duration. It is a freehold condominium title, not a leasehold, but it is very close to the gate, so you can access Clark very, very easily. And I think it's a good little listing, because it's priced just under 100,000 uh, peso per square meter. But let's just do the math real quickly. So you're looking at 10.5 divided by 114 square meters. So you're looking at 92,000 peso per square meter. Definitely, I think you can negotiate now. But this is a li good little condo, especially considering it is on a freehold title, a condominium title. And remember, with condominium and leasehold titles, foreigners can own it. Lovely looking condo, actually. It's a beautiful condo, a beautiful setup here. And who knows, you might even be able to negotiate uh, to keep the furniture if you like the furnishings. Beautiful area and a good price. And this actually looks like it's facing the golf course. So I thought the golf course, it looks like that golf course is in Clark. So maybe it's right on the on the border of Clark Pampanga and Angeles. Not quite sure. Again, I don't know the building. I just found this listing online, and I thought it was pretty cool. So I love the fact that it's on the golf course. I reckon this is a great little buy, and well worth checking out. Let's see if we can see the building name here. I'm sorry, we can't. You're going to have to get more information from the agent Roger. Let's move along. So this listing, now this is an awesome deal. This is only 12 million peso inside Clark Pambanga. So 12 million peso divided by 215 square meters. So you're looking at 55,000 peso per square meter. What a bargain. This is awesome. An awesome property. Literally for this, this price, this building inside Clark, this is really good buying, especially if you could squeeze this down to like under 10 million, maybe high nine, something like that. It's extremely good buying. So let's have a look at the condo. Look at that deck. Huge terrace with a great view. It's a beautiful condo. Looks like a sub penthouse. Wow, look at that nice kitchen too. And a wonderful outlook. love those wide big terraces those sweeping balconies that sweep around the condo the other feature of this particular condo it looks like a corner unit lovely massive rooms nice bathrooms so yes a very nice condo one of the last ones featured today uh, well worth buying I've seen some of these condos pre-COVID close to 20 million peso like I'm talking like 16 to 20 million like asking prices the prices have come down substantially keep in mind I have filtered through the listings and tried to find the best listings available now drum roll let's have a look at the last listing today now we're looking at the Mimosa Clark the Gulf Ridge private estate by Phil Invest and you might be shocked, you might fall over, and I thought this is a good comparison to show you one of the new developments, the upper end, high end, you know, elitist developments, which is Golf Ridge, uh, Golf Ridge Estate, which is priced at 30 million peso for this three bedroom. 
and this is what you get for 30 million uh, looks like a lush oasis so a very very nice development uh, it looks like they call it filigree filigree or maybe that's the the brand by Phil Invest. So I think there'll be a lot of Koreans interested in this development just because of Mimosa Clark, uh, the world-class Mimosa golf course, okay, which is a short walk away. So not all the units are 30 million. It's the three bedrooms, which are actually 12, sorry, it starts from 12 million for the one bedroom, but it goes to three, three bedroom, 29 million plus, four or three bedrooms. So you're looking at 195 to 249 square meters, a huge you know, penthouse unit, three bedroom for 30 million pesos. Uh, this is by Phil Invest. Uh, it's inside Phil Invest Mimosa. So it's a, a world renowned golf course, hence why the price is so high. This is literally the duck's nuts of condominium developments in Clark Pampanga. So definitely if you've got some money and you just don't care what you spend, this could be a really good option for you. Personally, you know, I'd be probably more interested, to be honest, um, in the one or two bedroom condominiums because I think they represent good, good value. Remember, in this market, even if it's a new development, you can still ask the developer for a discount for a good price and you might get it. But keep in mind, you're probably more likely to negotiate a bigger discount from a resale than you are with a developer unless they have some kind of special or sale or promotion going on at that current point in time. Anyway, that's Clark Pampanga Condominiums. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please do support the channel by sharing, liking or subscribing. Thank you so much and have a wonderful weekend. Bye for now. Let's let the <laughs> let's let the um, marathon continue. I'm going to take a quick break, grab some water, do some research, and going to go and move on to the next video. Keep watching, stay tuned. I'm going to be doing videos all weekend long. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Have a great weekend.